Welcome back to a new series. Ooh. Um, woohoo. Yeah, so Sam's here. Hello. And Robbie's here as well. Hi there. So this is the first episode of the Foot Champs Academy. So basically, we're not the best players. All right, but... Hey, hey. <laughs> but I think there's a few... <laughs> tips doing ad libs. <laughs> there's, a, there's a few tips that we can give out. Let's try and make you guys just a bit better at the game. Uh, maybe get up one rank or two ranks even. Because I don't think it's ever big things that you have to change on FIFA to do much better. Yeah. Uh, I think one of the things that really helps you is formation and custom tactics. So I think this year there's been quite an obsession over um, copying pros tactics and uh, Yeah, you know, it's more than it ever has been, isn't it? Mm. Especially with the five back. That yeah. was somewhat of a, a, a phenomenon. I can't really say that word. But anyway, <laughs> what you're here for is the 4 3 1 2 tactics. I'm sure you've Phenomenal. all seen them. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <Phenomenal>. <laughs> they were. Top tier biscuit. They were popularized by Stokes, I believe it is. Um, and then kind of the communities followed suit to some extent. So I think one of the things that YouTubers don't always do is break down why a formation is good. They just give yeah. you these numbers and they say, well, this is, the, you know, this is just why. Then you copy them and then you move on. Yeah. But for me, I didn't I didn't like the tactics, to be honest with you, boys. You didn't? Or I didn't like the instructions, I should say. The tactics were fine. Um, press after possession loss is definitely the strongest defensive style this year by an absolute country mile. There's no downside to it. Your players don't get tired near as much as they have done in previous years. Uh, and if you've got even half-decent stamina, they're going to be okay. Yeah. With We've got us five. You are defending a four back, so you don't want to be too narrow. You don't want to. You do want to kind of like cut out those wingers in the or the wing backs, I should say. Sorry, that in the five backs that you will come up against a lot. Yeah. Question here then, Jack. Yeah. So one one thing I always find with the narrow formations is when people are very good at playing it down the wing, and it's like my players are so slow to get out to them. Yeah. If you're chasing the game, it can be quite frustrating. Does that? help that width or the width I th it's not so much the width it's the, it's the other player instructions so obviously you've got three midfielders you know you've got three centre mids yeah. so I'm running Rooney, Rijkaard and De Bruyne uh, Rijkaard is probably the weaker link in the team but <laughs> just a bit yeah but, <laughs> he, um, <laughs> he does a job but anyway so your instructions on your wide CDMs is just cover wing and cover get into wing, box yeah. Ooh. so there's nothing else on them don't touch them. So naturally, they'll drift out. So if you, you know, if you are facing a bit of an overload on the right hand side or the left hand side, your middle, your sorry, your outside centre mids will go and cover that position. So they give you a lot of help there. So you don't need to have the width any higher. I think uh, if you did want to defend a bit more compact, it maybe if you're facing someone that is also playing a narrow formation, maybe drop it down to four. But it's up to you. But depth seven, this is the important one. So this is the thing that Stokes found, I believe, or he, you know, at least like I say, is the, one that made it, is the one that made it popular. Seven depth. And this is so overpowered because they do automatic offside traps. Ooh. So <laughs> whenever I, you know, think I'm smart, I'll do the, uh, you know, the down, down on D-pad. And it usually ends in tears. <laughs> yeah. It did against me. It did against you, yeah. I wasn't going to bring it up, but... <laughs> I like to think I can time it really well, but I can't, to be honest with you. Whether it be gameplay or I'm just shit at it, I can't do it very well. Whereas these offside chaps plays are stupidly good. They are really, really good. Um, so if you're against somebody that's got even slightly bad gameplay, they're going to be passing the ball too late. If they're a bit impatient, you're gonna be passing the ball too late as well. Are you saying, and they do it on their own? Yeah, yeah. You don't. Is that just fun. triggered by it being seven? Yeah. Oh, so if it's six, it doesn't do it. No. Oh shit. That's Offensive pretty, style. Yeah, pretty good. Now this is one thing that's up for debate. So the main ones that have got popular is long ball, and I've liked the way the team's played. I like long ball. Um, <laughs> whereas I think if you've got maybe a bit more of a possession style, you might just play balanced. Yeah. Um, but width, these aren't, you know, these aren't anything too crazy. You want width five, nothing too low. Otherwise, like I say, you're going to be playing too narrow. An another width question here. Yes, sir. Uh, Sometimes. As long as you don't call me uh, fat. <laughs> <laughs> a, uh, 
a, a narrow formation with two strikers. Yeah. And you, you're trying to get out quickly. Do you ever find, like, with width <clears throat> like that, that your strikers are so far apart it's actually hard to link up? No. Well, because of your cam. So your cam is probably the most important position in this formation because he really does keep the structure of the team and he yeah. creates those triangles for you. Um, plays in the box, we've got it at six. Simply because it is an attacking formation and you want, can I, I might drop that down to five actually. Um, because five, you've got you kind of like your two attacking CMs and then you've got your cam and your two strikes, obviously. Corners and free kicks is irrelevant. Um, but then here, so I'll go through the type of players you want in a, in each position. So centre backs, you want them to be fast. What a crazy concept! I probably know. full backs. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I've got Kleiber there, best centre back in the game. Uh, Klosterman, who is pretty good as well. Then right back and left back, I've got normal Mendy and uh, first informed Cancelo. So I think this is where I can improve on. So they run up and down the pitch a lot. They get involved in the attack. Uh, yeah. Not, not maybe not the attack, but more the midfield. I'd say, like the middle third of the pitch, they, uh, they they're there a lot more uh, than you'd think they would be. So yeah. you want, well, everyone knows the type of players. You want your Reese James, Kyle Walkers, Clivers, Mendy's, you know, Alfonso's, Alfonso's, you know, all the boys. <laughs> um, you want basically very dynamic fullbacks. It's a big fullback meta at the minute. The defense, so. Yeah. Feel free to just get whoever in. Do you have those on stay back still? Uh, yes. Now, that's where I differ from most of the pro tactics. I'm not good enough, I don't think, to defend with uh, like three players in the middle. I need width when I'm defending. Yeah. I can't. I just can't do it. Um, I need width. I do. I really do. Um, CDM. It's now, like right. Tinder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sam, that's sad. Sam's uh, a chubby chaser. Isn't it? Oh, that's gay. Sounds buzzing for the uh, the twenty first of June or whatever it is. Um, oh, I love it. But um, <laughs> CDM, get your harpoon out. You want them <laughs> moving swiftly on from Sam's uh, <laughs> fetishes. I'm gonna make a Sam uh, a Jack moving swiftly on compilation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want somebody that's well, you know, actually <laughs> linking to what Sam wants. You want something that really dominates uh, oh, that right. position. <laughs> so Talk dirty to me. <laughs> so Rykard is. Uh, He's got the tash for it, to be fair, but oh, he, um, no. oh, I could no. do with doing a, with having somebody a bit faster there, to be honest with you. I yeah. can imagine a Vieira being unbelievable there. What, what a crazy concept, I know. But What about uh, Gravenberch, Jack? Gravenberch could definitely do the job. If you've not got as many coins, Gravenberch would be really good there. You just want somebody that's very commanding, that's decent-ish on the ball, can spray yeah. a pass. Um, like I say, I've got a way of using middle right card there um, and I, I actually didn't mind him there it's just when he's next to De Bruyne and Rooney he can't help but feel his cheapness yeah. a bit not that he's, well not that he's cheap but it's like that like Jamie Carragher meme where he's like it just feels a bit, a bit lost out there you can't help but feel sorry for him <laughs> a bit yeah <laughs> um, but you want somebody that's like I say quite a good box to box defensive you don't really need them to be good at attacking to be honest with you uh, they might find them work their way up the pitch sometimes, but it's few and far between. Yeah. This is where you kind of like you get your very um, demanding positions. I think you're, you're two outside centre mids. I've got De Bruyne and Rooney. I'd say those are probably two of the best picks you can get for this position because they can both yeah. attack and defend. Because he don't protect, get me, but also he attack. They also they really do, bro. Honestly, so. These two positions, they attack a lot. You, they don't particularly get in the box a lot, even though they are on that tactic. But they <laughs> do get around the box. So you, you often use them as, you know, that pass, maybe the pre-assist, like Sam said, De Bruyne had a lot of them. Uh, they do get into a lot of good positions to shoot as well. So having yeah. someone with good long shots is really important, I think, for these positions. Uh, do you think, um, I found, do you know that get into the box on your wide centre mids? Even mm -hmm. though they don't, like you say, they don't always get into the actual box, it does help them get up the pitch quicker to yeah. support. No, I'd agree. I think they take better positions as well. They don't just kind of like mindlessly run yeah. forward. Um, which it seems like on this FIFA, you know, it's, you're kind of fighting against the tactics all the time. You're trying to get the right balance. Um, it's yeah. a strange one. But Cam, um, you know, you can, you're, you're Cam and Strikers, you already know what the type of players you want. I've got Mbappe, Neymar and Grinch are all little nippers. 
uh, all five star skillers and the uh, the great for me they're my favorite players uh, so yeah there's uh, there's not much to say about those but the instructions must be nice say sam getting a rincher from mid eye compact sam give him a slap uh, as, mate uh... I can't even join in with you Some because speech. you got Cruyff. <laughs> like, it's bad so, that he got Grincher. That angers me, yeah. But because you got Cruyff, I'm like, no, I'm not joining with you. Kind of I'm not about teaming with you. Here's you got, me with me. You've Mac got Claude from Arsenal Fan TV. <laughs> so, here's where I differ the main difference. I've got stay back on them, but I've also got overlap on them. So, oh. this is ah. where they give the... Kind of, they just give you an option in midfield. So, when you are... Kind of like waiting for your strikers to make a move up the pitch you've got that out ball um from your center yeah. mid so you don't feel congested in the midfield you don't feel like forced to go do you know what i mean like a certain way forced yeah. to go forward you can go down to the side um like i said i've got that on both of them obviously i think this is where like i say you could improve a lot if you've got more attacking ones like you rob and you've got alfonso maybe leave him on balance and, yeah, and then have a more defensive one here, and have some, that, that have them on stay back. Yeah, I was just yeah. gonna use him centre mid to be honest. No, you know all that. <laughs> all that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Rijkaard, we've got on stay back and cover centre. He's also on Love Island season two. Um, he is. Yeah, I was shaking when me missus were watching it, and I saw Rijkaard. I was like, Frank, what are you doing here? <laughs> supposed to be in Jack's team. He's found his way to an ITV team. <laughs> and. Uh, I have no idea what you're on about. <laughs> <laughs> Sam doesn't own this call of television. But, um, yeah, like I say, you want... Uh, I'll, I'll warm it up. <laughs> you want quite a dominating centre defensive mid here. Vieira is the dream. I'd imagine him just to be unreal here or Hullet or somebody. Moussa Sissoko. Yeah, he'd do a really good job there. It's just something that... It just clatters people, you know what I mean? It don't have to be anything yeah, fancy. no nonsense. Just eat some. Eat some Straight minute up and down, one. meat and potatoes. Yeah, and they know that's, that's, there. that's the best sort of tactic to go with that. That centre mid is, is to like almost be overly aggressive trying to get the ball and give away yeah. the foul if it happens. Yeah, mate. Honestly, I've I've come to this realization that red cards are practically non-existent. That red card, yeah, like Robbie says, they're non-existent. I'd rather get or give away a foul higher at the pitch where I'm not in any danger than let somebody get past me. Think they're a yeah. little, you know, a little tart, and then trying I don't know, flip flap past me. I don't want to be made a mug off. So just, just slap, <laughs> just give him a good slap. Um, then, like I say, get into the Jack box. trying to be tough, Craig, he curses me. <laughs> <laughs> just, just give him a slap. Just give him a slap, all right. Um, getting spots for cross for your two. I let him with my so mockers. <laughs> I'm just, just stop bullying me, please. All right, it's anti-bullying. <laughs> um, so here, listen, Sam, you punk. Stay forward, <laughs> and you can. They, this is the most important instruction. Is that the one that helps the what I was saying before about your strikers getting isolated and too far? Being a link man. So, in effect, this this formation sometimes plays like four one two one two, narrow that is, but the position is just better. I can't quite explain it. Um, it's just better. All right. Yeah. Like, your sentiments take up more intelligent positions, and they don't they don't run around like weirdos like they're doing four one two one two sometimes. <laughs> so stay forward. You need him on stay forward. Don't be sweaty. Don't put a comeback on defence because you lose all the shape to your team, which I think yeah. has always been the problem four three one two. Um, but this year you can combat it with these instructions. On think, these boys, uh, yeah, go on. even if you use any formation with a cam, I think stay forwards a must. Like I use it on any cam formation. I think, I think it, it just helps a lot. Like I say, otherwise. Yeah. yeah it it just. Front, is, anyway. I've never used like four two three one three five two. 5 to 1 2. I always use stay forward on the cam. I think you just got to do it. I agree. Uh, on these boys, I've got to stay central. Uh, I've not got to get in behind because I think you benefit from uh, keeping them not quite, in, you know, not always behind the uh, the last man and running past yeah. them. I think I th the triangles in this formation are insane. I think as well, when yeah. you have them on getting behind, they do stupid stuff in the box. Like they just. They're on for a they sweaty and they go run into back at net. I'm like, yeah. what in the fuck are you doing? You just want to slap them. <laughs> yeah. And I'm I think you can trigger it. runs easily enough that you don't need to have them on getting behind. And to be honest, when you've got decent players that have got a good attack positioning, they find their yeah. way there anyway. So just yeah. stay central for these because if you've got them on drift wide or even just balance width, you, they just... Like I say, it's, it's all about the structure of this team's formation. Yeah. You need them to stay in the positions that they've been given. No... 
autonomy at all. They are a machine. I control this machine. I don't want them to do whatever they think. Just do as I say, boys. And you'll finish elite. So it's like rules of an iron fist. With these tactics, I did finish elite. I don't mean Danny Rand. Ago. Sorry. That was rough. <laughs> uh, mad one. <laughs> I was trying to shut him up, to be honest. So with these <laughs> tactics, uh, I did go elite for the first time in a while. They are good. They are definitely, for me anyway, I think they're, they're more suited to my play style because I like yeah. the box to box centre mids. And I need the, that's the main thing I didn't like about the 5 1, 5 2 1 2 by the end of it is that I didn't have that kind of like calming presence um, in midfield. Yeah. So, you know, like Rooney and De Bruyne, they'd be running up the pitch all the time. Yeah. I wouldn't have somebody to cover for them. Whereas with this, uh, you've got that cover and you've not got the, you know, the mad overlapping wing backs all the time. So it's just a bit of a balance. Yeah. And these are the tactics that Rob and Sam are going to be using this weekend league, and they're going to make a follow-up video. So yeah. let us know if you like the uh, the tactics. I think we're coming to the end of the video. You boys, have you got any other questions for me? Who's your next upgrade going to be? My next upgrade. Uh, well, defense is going. Uh, I'm going to change the defense out. Yeah. I'd like a better left back and right back, um, and I want somebody better than Klosterman as well. And Neuer right. has been wonderful. I've got to say, 45 games with him. But Wunderbar. Yes, but he's not really been worth it, I'd say. He's, be, he's very good, yeah. but unless you're really rich, he's probably not worth it. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, just a quick question, Jack. Me, me and Rob will cover this in more detail, I suppose, when we do the follow-up video. But obviously you've got the tactics of what you've set up there, but like, how would you say you, your play style is with using them? Do you get forward quite quickly with the ball, like try and uh, get I'd in behind say, early? or? I'd say really quickly. Um, yeah. You'll see in the next few up, uh, next few reviews, because I've been using this <laughs> formation with them, you find, you need your fullbacks to definitely be good on the ball, so Cancel and Mendy were really nice for that. You need your outside centre mids to be good on the ball as well, because you find them being the kind of like the transition a lot. Yeah. Um, so you'll get it you say you're defending, you get it with your centre back, pass it to your full back, they'll pass it to that centre mid, and then you can like bomb up. Then you know you'll get marked. You'll wait for your full back to overlap with the tactic, pass it down to them, and then you pass it into your cam, pass it to your striker and you're scoring. It's that easy really. There you go. Have to get Elite 101. But yeah, that's the first episode of the Foot Champs Academy. And then hopefully right. in the next episode, me and Rob will bring you the gameplay. And you can see exactly what we've been talking about. We'll see you next time, lads. See you later. See you later.